Hey guys, what's up and welcome back to my channel. My name is Wendy and welcome to the Becerra family. I'm so happy you guys are here with us today. I just got back from the store. I went out to get some things because I've been wanting to for the longest time to start um like planting like an indoor garden like just start growing my own herbs growing my own stuff and i literally do not know like where to even start like what to buy i got the basic stuff but i really don't know like how to care for them what to do once they start growing i really have like the zero clue on how to um Go about these indoor plants let alone outdoor plants but i'm gonna start with the indoor plants first and then make my way into like a backyard garden and outdoor planting so i want to start with indoor plants um also because it's so hot outside i feel like my outdoor plants will just die in one day so we're gonna start indoor and i'll be able to watch over them a little bit more but like i said i have zero clue where to start so i went out to lowe's and just got the simple um stuff i got three plotters i got i got some basil i got some jalapenos and i got some more basil wow i thought i got cilantro but i guess i got two basils it's okay i also got this little shovel to like help me with the soil so i found this really awesome online program called skilled share Skillshare is an online learning community with thousands of inspired classes for creative and curious people just like me that have zero clue where to start, don't know where to start, but want to start somewhere. The class that I chose from Skillshare is the gardening, growing house plants. So this is exactly what we're going to be doing here. Um, whether you are a pro or a hobbyist or a master, discover thousands of classes that are on it. Experience real-time inspiration as you connect with popular teachers while watching and working along with other members. The first 1,000 of my subscribers to click the link in the description will get a one-month free trial of Skillshare so you can start exploring your creativity today. This is curative specifically for learning, meaning there are no ads and there's always launching new premium classes so you can always stay focused and follow wherever your creativity leads you. Skillshare offers members with meaning connect with the support of fellow creatives and enter a community of encouragement, communication, and inspiration. So I'm so excited to be starting off with Skillshare to get started with my gardening, my indoor garden. And I will show you guys exactly what class I am taking in case you guys want to join me. Like I said, the first 1,000 of my subscribers to click the link in the description will get a, a one-month free trial of Skillshare so you can start exploring yourself and find the right class for you. It doesn't necessarily have to be gardening like me. They have thousands of things that you can look through and find the right one for you. Hey guys, I was trying to get a workout in. I have put no one to sleep and I was like getting ready. You know, I put on my workout clothes and I went to my garage. I started drinking my pre-workout and everything. I'm almost done with it too. I'm about to hit the one mile um, mark on my treadmill walking and then I hear Noah crying. He woke up from his nap. So I was barely like 20 minutes into my workout and it's like I won't. So whatever, it is what it is. So this top is super cute. It's from Lululemon but too much of my side boob comes out. Like I hate it. And it's so cute from the back too. It's like crisscross. And then these um, tights are from pink. So cute. But anyway, so I think the, the pre-workout is like barely kicking in. And now I'm like all like ready to go. And so I just finished washing all the dishes. And now I'm going to meal prep Joseph's meals. And I wanted to show you guys because um, a couple of times that I've done it, I posted on Instagram. You guys have asked me if I could actually make a video of when I do it, and I was like, all right. So I'm going to be making chicken, rice, veggies, and some overnight oatmeal. So first we're going to start off with chicken because that's what takes um, the longest. So I make my chicken in the air fryer, and right here we have some chicken breast. I already rinsed it out. I thawed it out in the morning, and now I rinsed it out, and now we're going to grab our 
chicken breast it looks a little scary and we're going to slice it to make them thinner so that way they cook through it and they're not going to be like raw in the inside so we're going to make sure we cut it in half and they're like this Vamos a hacer como filetes de pollo. Nomás lo cortamos a la mitad y ya. Vamos a estar haciendo arroz, um, vegetales y avena que no se cocina, so solo se cocina sobre noche natural leche. We're going to take off this fat. So I have a total of three breasts, but since I sliced them in half, do the math and now we got six. <laughs> Super easy, especially if you're making it in the air fryer. My air fryer is from Costco. Um, Joseph bought it for me back for Christmas, so I've had it for a while, and it was $60 when he bought it. So we're gonna get some garlic powder, some black pepper, chicken seasoning. This is the air fryer that we got. We're going to preheat this. We're gonna put, um, where are you? We're gonna put 375 and we're gonna put start. I'm going to spray with just a little bit of olive oil. You, I usually use avocado oil, but I'm out. They just spray the pan just so it doesn't stick. We're gonna put it for eight minutes on each side once it reaches eight minutes we're gonna flip it over i put very little bit of olive oil and just a clove of garlic and then we're getting half a cup of brown rice it like just brown a little bit and then we're gonna put the water and that's pretty much it and a little bit of salt one cup of water, so that's half. One cup of water, let it boil, and then bring it down to a simmer. Once it starts to boil, when I get, I put the salt para que agarre el sabor, porque si no, no agarra la sal. Now that it's boiling, vamos a echar sal al gusto. Let's simmer, and we're going to cover it. Okay, now that the, the rice and the chicken are cooking, these are the veggies I get. These bags are like two dollars or a dollar at your local grocery store. No se maten, guys. Make your life easier and get these little frozen things. You just literally throw them in the microwave in the bag and they steam themselves. So all I'm gonna do is pop this in the microwave for let me see. This one is for Five, four to five minutes so yeah I usually always get these unless um, I'm making like something special but for meal preps these are like my go-to make your life easier flip our chicken oh my god se me olvida. No me olvida. you guys didn't remind me but look how good they're cooking let's flip them Maker oatmeal so this is an oatmeal I use I get it at Trader Joe's and then I use this honey from Trader Joe's this is um, powdered peanut butter and I got this at um, TJ Maxx and then I put cinnamon and a banana so I usually make two or depending how many containers I have guys these are the saddest containers in my vida mi esposo siempre Se le olvida traer los trastes o los tira. I used to make it in mason jars. So if you're able to buy mason jars, it's much better. I moved back into this house. I threw away all my trastes. I need to get new ones. And this is literally the magic bullet. Don't judge me. I'm going to get some, but I just haven't had the time. I'll probably order some from Amazon. I used to just use mason jars, but right now I'm just using whatever containers you have. the almond milk. So I put... One fourth of a cup. What 
One fourth of a cup. And that's it that's pretty much what they look like these are pretty much they're like banana um peanut butter ones you can make them with whatever fruit you want sometimes i'll make two peanut butter banana and the other two like strawberry blueberry um a little bit different try to switch it up so he doesn't get too bored of eating the same thing because i know i would okay the chicken the first round of chicken is finally done but i want to show you guys how juicy it comes out in the air fryer like a lot of people think it comes out dry and gross but it comes out so good so let me cut it up and i'll show you guys and it's fully cooked inside as you can see and it's not dry not this knife not working though to start um making the meal preps i actually got these meal prep containers at tj maxx and it was 12 containers for seven dollars which is super good and they have the, the portions like this excuse my children in the background i'm gonna be making three today sound of the rest of the chicken being done this is for tonight's dinner the rice is done extra minutes to this So I'm only going to use one chicken breast for to finish off this and the rest is going to be for tonight's dinner. So I'm like doing so much. So this is my meal prep and I'm also making dinner right now. So I'm using two breasts and then these green beans and then I'm going to be make this organic pesto tortellini from Trader Joe's for tonight's dinner. done with meal prep and then here is the overnight oats wow una profesional, ¿verdad? <laughs> honestly these um little containers are come so in clutch because si yo se me pierden mis containers buenos estos que agarren sam's club i get mad but these like okay whatever but anyways on to the next meal dinner we have the green beans. I just put them in um, boiling water for a little bit. Para que no se me aguane tanto, solo dejé como unos dos minutos. And now we're going to saute them with some garlic and some salt. Oh, shoot. And here is tonight's dinner. We have the pesto tortellini. We just cooked it in there. And then over here we have the green beans with the garlic. They're already cooked. Their green beans ya están cocidos. Nomás que me gustan que estén como más crunchy. So I put them in a little bit of olive oil and a lot of garlic. We have the chicken that we already cooked, chopped up. And then I'm gonna make a cucumber salad with some feta cheese and we're done. All right, now I'm gonna make my cucumber salad. So here I chopped up all the cucumbers. These are Persian cucumbers. They're my favorite. The mini cucumbers, they're super crunchy and delicious. So here I have some olive oil. I'm gonna pour some. I don't measure it, I just let tantearle. And then we're gonna squeeze a whole lemon. 
gonna put all of this garlic. I think this is three cloves mice. So as much garlic as you like. I like a lot of garlic. Fresh pepper, since me and Joseph are the only ones to eat this. Black pepper. Then we mix it all. Now this is like the dressing that goes on the cucumbers. And then I usually add purple onion, but I don't have any. So also add the feta cheese, if you like feta cheese. Delicious. Mm -mm -mm -mm. My favorite go-to salad. Look at all the mess I have now, guys. It never ends. Anyways, I'll leave you guys this video. Hope you guys enjoyed this meal prep. If you guys have any suggestions, leave them on the comments down below. I love you guys, and I'll see you guys very soon in another video. Bye.